In this video, we will learn how to find the component form of vectors given the magnitude and the direction. Here you can see the magnitude is given and the direction is given. How can we find the component form? It is very simple. The component form is given by a very simple formula. We have used this before. Magnitude multiplied by cos theta comma magnitude multiplied by sine theta. This is the x, this is the y. That's it. Now all you need to do is substitute dual cosine of 60 degrees. Come on, this next one, the y value will be same thing to all, but the direction changes to sine of 60 degrees. I can put this in the calculator and solve it up easily. I've substituted to all cos 60. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode, not in radian. And just press equal to, you'll get the answer 6 here. And same way, just change to sine. You will get the y value of the component form. So this is the answer 6 and 6 root 3. Such an easy type of problem. All you need to do the same thing, same formula. Remember, always the x value is related with the cosine, whereas the y value is related with the sine. Put it in the calculator and solve it up. So here are all the worked out solutions. Please go through them. And even away, it's the same thing. We have 273 degrees, magnitude is 28. 28 cos 273 and 28 sine 273. That is the end of this topic. Please do try and solve more problems by yourselves.